Hi, here we are again, this time with a question addressed to my teacher colleagues. Have you ever given a class where one or even several in-class dates coincided with a holiday? Did any of your in-class meetings fall on Labor Day, Ascension Day, Corpus Christi, Easter Monday or any other holiday? Or perhaps you may not have been able to teach due to illness? What happened in such cases? Quite simply, generally the number of in-class meetings was reduced. Lecture halls are closed on holidays and if you're ill you cannot teach. See what happened to my History of English class during summer term 1997. The class always took place on Thursdays. It started with a preliminary organizational meeting, but then three in-class meetings could not take place due to holidays. The 1st of May was Labor Day, the 8th of May Ascension Day, and then on the 29th of May the class could not take place due to Corpus Christi. Well and the final in-class meeting was used for the final exam. So instead of having 13 content related in-class meetings we only had 10. But I was never absent for any reason. Some of my students might have liked that. Fewer in-class meetings means less content to learn. But I didn't like it at all since I now had to squeeze the content of 13 sessions into 10. An almost impossible enterprise. The consequent was content reduction and in the end a simplified final exam. Is that what we want? I don't think so. We should make sure that the quantity of content can be guaranteed. As we've just seen in a traditional scenario this is impossible. With digital content and an inverted classroom scenario however we can assure that there is never any content reduction. Unless the web falls apart, the content will be accessible at any time, from any place, and the phase of content delivery will no longer be affected. In the case of holidays, however, the only part we could lose, in fact, would be time for practicing, surely a loss too, but far less dramatic, because this loss can either be compensated for by additional online practicals like those we have successfully been using in our massive open online courses or by specific in-class scenarios such as group work or interactive in-class exercises that students prepare on the basis of the digital content. And what about the two flanking sessions? Well, exams, in our case electronic exams, have to be written in a special computer room on a separate day anyway. And the opening meeting can easily be replaced by one or several explanatory videos that provide the essential information about the class well in advance. Thus, these two sessions can be used for content delivery as well. And if not used as such, they give us more flexibility as far as in-class teaching is concerned. So we will always have a maximum number of content related units, no cancellations due to holidays or illness and we no longer spend valuable in-class time for administrative or other purposes. This is what I call quantity assurance and it is another benefit of the digitization of teaching and learning. I know that some colleagues may complain and say for example wasn't it a good idea to have an organizational meeting first and thus a smooth class opening where no one had to prepare any content. True, I also had always liked this idea but the main focus of our classes must in my eyes be on content delivery and content acquisition. So as a teacher I'm obliged to guarantee that the maximum amount of content is delivered in my classes. And through the digitization of nearly all my content, 
my ways of content delivery have become independent from factors such as holidays, illness or other reasons for cancellations. Thanks for your attention.